Welcome back to the channel and to another My Facts for video. Before we get into it, big thanks once again to 2K for not only providing me with a 40 years of WrestleMania edition of the game, as well as some My Faction points, but also for sponsoring today's video. So last time we were in the middle of a Faction Wars run featuring a new bloodline, but unfortunately since that last recording that run did come to an end, so this time I thought we would do another one, this time though a bit of a challenge, we're going to be doing a bloodline only run through Faction Wars, and let's see how far we can get. But before we get into that, a bit of time has passed since that last video, and since then I've opened up a few more packs and done a few live events, so let's have a quick look at my updated roster. So on the men's side we have got a few additions, we have got a Sapphire Wrestlemania edition of Roman Reigns, which is an awesome card and the best edition we've had since last time. We've also got a Wrestlemania version of the British Bulldog. We have got Emerald versions of Omos and Sami Zayn from challenges and live events. We have got a gold Cody Rhodes that was from a free locker code. We have got Rey Mysterio, Macho King and Triple H cards from the 40 years of Wrestlemania DLC. And a gold Wesley Wrestlemania edition as well. On the women's side, not quite as many additions, but we have got a very cool Emerald EO Sky WrestleMania card, as well as Rhea Ripley and Charlotte Flair gold cards from the 40 years of WrestleMania DLC pack. But onto the challenge that we're going to be attempting, a Bloodline only Faction Wars run. So we only had Roman Reigns and Imaga initially from the challenge, but we have added to it by grabbing both The Rock and Solo Sokoa from the Faction Wars exchange, giving us a full full mount Bloodline faction for the run. So for this one the rules are going to be simple, we can only use Bloodline members only during this entire run, so let's see how far we can get, and let's get this one going. So sequence 1, match 1, Sarutokoa vs Xavier Woods, a nice and easy win via the Samoan Spike using Sarutokoa. Now the path we took this first round only required that one win before eventually getting to the final match in the sequence, which was ironically enough against another Bloodline, so Bloodline vs Bloodline. Now my new version of the Bloodline ended up being a little too strong for the AI version, as after a speed or a key sheet, we ended up getting the win, which also meant we got to add one of their team into ours. So keeping it simple, we just switched out their version of Imaga for my one. Section 2 kicked off with a 2 out of 3 falls match, with Rockin Reigns taking on another version of Roman Reigns, as well as Drew McIntyre. Now I gotta say, this match had some pretty awesome moments, including this one. But we did get the first fall via countout. And we eventually got the second one via a roll up. We did then get to use the switched out version of Umaga with a victory over Drew McIntyre in a steel cage match, following an always awesome Samoa Spike and then escaping the cage. Now without doubt, the toughest match in this run so far was up next, as we took on 4 different versions of the dead man. After a hard fought back and forth match, we did eventually somehow get the win, via a roll up by Solo Sokoa. So 2 sequences down and so far so good. Now following that we would usually switch out one of their boss cards for one of our own, but because of the challenge we can't, so we do carry on with our current lineup. Although as you can see the damage is starting to add up, so it could be a little concerning. We do at least start off the next run of a vitality card, so that does help at least a little bit. Despite the damage, we do get a win over Slade, Solo Sokoa and Seth Rollins in a ladder match. We then took the mystery match option, which might have been a bit of an error, as it ended up being a 4 on 4 8 man tag, with all 4 Bloodline members not looking great on the health run. But using the least damage of the bunch, we did get a cheeky roll out victory on Vader, getting yet another win. Next up was a 6 man ladder match, which can always go either way, and you do need that little bit of luck. Thankfully that luck was on our side, with Umaga grabbing the briefcase and the victory. We do get a slight health increase on route, but it is then time for the last match on stage 3, which is the team of the Land of the Giants, and the take up Diesel, Omos and Andre the Giant, taking on my 4 members of the Bloodline. 
and this one actually ended up being much easier than expected, with our focus just on Andre and somehow managing a quickish victory via the spit by Roman Reigns. Once again, challenge in mind, no switching out superstars, so once again we carry on with our damage superstars and head into stage number 4. So at the start of this one we had back to back vitality cards which has helped a little bit, but as you can see our team isn't looking too great. As we head into yet another 3 on 3 ladder match, which once again you do need a little bit of luck with, and unfortunately this was where our luck ran out. We had two of our team stunned at the same time, which was just long enough for their version of the rock to pull down the briefcase and victory. So unfortunately, challenge failed, but we did at least get to stage four, so it came pretty close, but obviously not quite close enough. Fun challenge though, I reckon if it wasn't for that ladder match, then maybe we could have got a little bit further, but still a fun challenge to at least attempt and maybe we can revisit this one sometime in the future. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the challenge. Let me know if you have any ideas for similar videos in the comment section below. Stay tuned for more 2 24 content coming to the channel soon. And until next time, this has been 101, and I will see you all on the next one.